So in the Walking Dead universe, a lot of characters we know and love have suffered, you know. I'm pretty sure, well, every character in the show has suffered it in some sort of way. Um, in that world, it's pretty, you know, common to happen and it's going to happen in that world that they're living in. Um, and yeah, we've, we've experienced it a lot through characters that we love. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, who has suffered uh, the most in the Walking Dead universe and who I think has suffered the most in the Walking Dead universe. It might be a bit controversial who I think has suffered the most by the end of the video, but I'd love to know what you guys think uh, and who you think suffered the most in The Walking Dead. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy this video today, please like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I have four main characters who stand out the most to me, um, who I think have suffered the most in The Walking Dead universe. And at the end of the video, I'll say which one I think is the one that, you know, has suffered the most in my opinion, which might get a few people turned on me, but you know, it, I just personally feel like this is this character is has suffered the most. Um, but yeah, the first character I have that I highlighted was Daryl. Now, Daryl has lost a lot um, in the in in the Walking Dead universe, and you know, in the beginning as well, even before the apocalypse started, he wasn't treated very well by his family. You know, Mel wasn't the best brother to him. Uh, he was he was heavily abused, you know, physically and mentally. Um, and a lot of the time he was forced to survive by himself, both before the apocalypse and after. And obviously during the apocalypse, you know, he was forced to be by himself a lot. Um, and that was just the early days of the apocalypse. He had to witness a lot of people die that he did care about, uh, like Beth. You know, Beth, Beth dying did have a heavy toll on him and that did affect him you know, a lot f uh, after that for, for a lot of time. You know, Carol helped him through it, but he did suffer a lot after Beth died. Um, and yeah, you know, him being mentally and physically abused at the start, you know, before the apocalypse started, and him being physically and mentally abused by his brother Merle during the apocalypse, you know, just showed his trauma. It just showed how much, it did show how much he had suffered before and how much he was suffering during the apocalypse. But he found that family during the apocalypse that helped him through it. He found another brother, you know, a new brother in Rick Grimes. So, yeah, I think Daryl has... And, you know, in the later seasons as well, season 11 with Leah, you know, the Reapers, he did care about her. We saw that in, in the episode in season 10 when, you know, Daryl was out there during that six years trying to look for, for Rick. He found, obviously, Leah. And, you know, they, they did bond and they'd had this connection that... Um, that Daryl showed affection for, which you didn't, you don't really see much. Um, you don't see that much in him, and you know he did have to kill her in the end to save Maggie, which you know obviously probably it did have uh, a a heavy toll on him as well, having to do that to someone he definitely did care about. So I think you know Daryl has suffered a lot throughout The Walking Dead. He had to be with groups he didn't want to be with, and also the main thing I think throughout this whole this whole thing for Daryl is when he got tortured by the Saviors. Um, in season seven, uh, when obviously he got taken by them, uh, for from the lineup, uh, he was tortured by uh by Dwight, um, forced to listen to the same song over and over again, and you know forced to eat the same stuff and do the same stuff every single day, it it did affect him, and we did see that you know we did see how how it affected him, especially in season eight when he starts to open up about it. Um, and how we, the saviors did make him suffer during that time and what they did to him. So, yeah, I think Daryl has suffered a lot for everything that he's been through. Um, and, yeah, so the next character is uh, Carol. Now, I think Carol is probably self-explanatory, like Daryl. You know, she, um, before the apocalypse, was, you know, a housewife who was abused by her husband, Ed. Um, and, obviously, she... that had a heavy toll on her as well and we did see that that had a, a massive effect on her um on in the early days because she was controlled by ed as we saw in season one um and she couldn't do much you know she she couldn't she couldn't look after her, her, her uh, sophia as much uh, or properly because of ed and yeah she he, she was controlled by him a lot and you know when he was killed by well killed in the uh in that camp as well it probably didn't have well, it did have an effect on her at, at that time, but losing Sophia was the main part that started all the trauma for Carol. You know, losing her kid, her daughter was was the massive thing for Carol. Um, and then obviously over time in the apocalypse, she did start to take other kids in. You know, Mika, um, you know those and Lizzie. You know they um 
she had to kill them both, obviously, because, well, not kill them both, but she had to kill Lizzie because of what she had become and what she did to Mika. So, yeah, that was that was another thing for Carol, having to do that to two, you know, girls that she want, that she had to raise and had to look after as during the apocalypse. That was, you know, that was, you know, it, 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 it was suffering. It was, it was horrible for Carol having to do that to Lizzie, but she had to do it, you know, because of what she did to Mika. Um, Carol also had to witness, you know, Henry. Well, she didn't have to witness Henry dying, but she obviously saw his head on a pike, which is traumatic for any, you know, mother because she had to... Obviously, Henry was like her child. She looked after him. She took care of him with Ezekiel. She raised him as, as her own. And, you know, Carol over time has has experienced a lot of, you know, downs with children that she's taken in and, you know, adopted during the apocalypse. And that's just, you know, the main trauma for Carol. Um, she has suffered a lot because of that. And, you know, she she is definitely a badass character, though. Don't get me wrong. She's a very cool character. and she But she has suffered a lot in, in The Walking Dead um, because of the kids that she raised and she lost them. Um... And yeah, there's not. I'm trying to think of other stuff that Carol has uh, has suffered through, but I think the main highlight of what she's, what she's mainly suffered with is you know losing her, uh, children that she has adopted throughout the apocalypse, and obviously losing Sophia at the start, and losing friends along the way as well. She lost she lost a, a lot of friends during the apocalypse that were killed, but yeah, I think you know Carol is you know another character who I highlighted that I think has suffered the most. Uh, another character uh, next on the list is Carl. Now, Carl is, you know, it was hard between the, Carl and the next character I've got on, on the list of who I was going to rate, who had suffered the most. But, yeah, Carl has has suffered a lot, you know. Um, very traumatic for him, being at such a young age, being, you know, thrown into this world full of the dead, um, not being able to have a childhood and, you know, live like, and live out, you know, in the world that, you know, he hoped he could have. Um, that's the first traumatic thing, being, you know, 12, however old he was in season one, living and ra- being raised and, you know, growing up in a world full of the dead and in an apocalypse would is, you know, already uh, a, a massive suffering for Carl. Um, but yeah, as obviously the series goes on, as the show goes on, he gets shot. Um, obviously he gets shot in season one or season two sorry he gets shot in season two um gets he loses his eye you know he he thought he lost his sister judith he also had to kill his mother laurie obviously um he because obviously laurie wanted him to put her down and he had to do it um so you know witnessing and also having to be the one to kill his mother in the prison you know that is that's already horrible as it is you know then after that, he thinking he lost Judith, his sister, you know, thought thinking she had died. Um, you know, he's been shot. He lost his eye. Um, and then he gets bit in season eight and dies. So it's it's a horrible story for Carl. He could have I've made very many videos about it in the past. Um, I, I think that he could have been such a cool character, you know, in the future of The Walking Dead. But obviously they killed him off for reasons that I have made a video on in the past uh, why they got rid of. Chandler Riggs but yeah I just think that Carl has lost a lot of stuff you know he being growing up as well at such a young age in that world is gonna especially everything he lost as well it's gonna change his mentality and it did and we saw that um he was very confused um and yeah you know he all those things he lost um his mother you know glory he had to kill her himself because obviously to save Judith and to keep Judith alive, obviously he had to put Laurie down, um, and then obviously thinking Judith was dead after thinking she got mauled by walkers when they found her, uh, when they found you know it was empty and Judith wasn't there, you know when he thought she was dead, you know he he got shot, and he got shot in the eye, losing his eye, um, and yeah, Cole definitely has lost a lot, he suffered massively in the walking dead and it's very close with this next character uh and yeah i think f- this next character uh is maggie um now this might be very controversial for some people um but personally for me i just think maggie has lost the most but it is very close with with carl i think 
don't don't you know don't put any hate in the comments i i do think it is very close with carl and maggie i think all of these characters are very close you can't really put you know rape people's trauma in real life but in this show in the walking dead based on what they've lost and what they've gone through i think maggie you know losing losing her husband glennon in in, in a brutal way when she was pregnant uh with their with their son is very horrible you know the way he got the way glenn got killed as well getting his head bashed in by negan and him being alive still for a, a bit of that pain and seeing maggie like that you know maggie was broken after that maggie was broken for some time um but it, it's not even just that that that's not the only thing of course she's had to go through uh she also had to witness her her father herschel get his head sliced off um during the prison arc with by the governor uh she then lost beth you know in the hospital um she lost you know the group in later seasons as well the new group she was with she lost hilltop um she lost a lot of people she cared about within that group um and yeah i think you know maggie just you know she has lost a lot you know and the way she lost those those people all those people she's lost were in very brutal ways and she had to live with that, you know, especially that story as well in season 11. She had to go through with Herschel, raising Herschel alone. So, yeah, she has she has gone through a lot. And, you know, we see her now in Dead City. She's still, you know, trying to come with term, to terms with things. Um, I guess she still can't get over, especially in season one. She can't really get over what Negan did, which is fair enough, of course. Um, but I think they do need to move on from that Negan versus Maggie kind of story and move on from that, which I think they will. Um, but yeah, I personally do think overall Maggie has, you know, lost more, I guess. Uh, she has suffered more than these characters that I have on this list, but they are all very close. Of course, I don't believe that in real life you can rape people's trauma, but of course, within this Walking Dead, uh, who I think suffered the most in the Walking Dead is Maggie. Uh, and it is very close between Carl and Maggie, but I just feel like... Maggie has lost and suffered the most. So yeah, tell me what you guys think of this in the comments below. Tell me who you think who you think it had suffered uh, suffered the most out of these four characters, or if you think it was a different character. I'd love to know what you guys think. Uh, so if you did enjoy this video today, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.